once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away, forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. You could try and lift Mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Sometimes, he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. Shit. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Uh, 
How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... one more time. Daniel is learning so fast. Wonder what the limits are. Is this one too big? Yeah, it's just way too massive. No fucking clue what happened to Daniel. But at least can I you can help. Throw this rock in the river? Oh yeah! Just watch. Uh. Splash! Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Dude. It's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. <gasps> John! You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! Sorry, I, I thought you would stop it. Serious. I'm sorry, Shroom. But you did stop it, Daniel. <laughs> you learned fast. Let's do it one more time. But near me. Uh, and not super hard. It's just a snowball, Daniel. Think <laughs> fast! Stop! Whoa! Daniel! That's what you get! Happy? Hell yeah, I am. That was awesome. You did it, man. I did. So you better be nice to me. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. <coughs> You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. We should fill these up now. I don't want to go out during the night. Here we go. The helitanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Hmm. 
Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Shroom? Oh, come on. Not again. You gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? You can't really name Birch, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left all their stuff behind? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, I'm glad they left. This is our must land. Must have been a now. really sweet spot Just... to get a tan in the summer. I miss my friends. And my room. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Not my kind of weeds. Yeah. Me too. Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Fucking miracle we found this place three weeks ago. Daniel helps me slice wood by holding the logs with his power. Pretty useful. Too bad this wood is rotten. We had to cut some more to keep the house warm. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. We had to use Daniel's gift to break in. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cuff doesn't sound too good. Uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. <laughs> Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Mm, uh, mm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um. You can do it. Okay. Um. Avoid danger? Run from danger. 
This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because you couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. <gasps> hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Mecha robot ready for takeoff. Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but... Ooh. Helps staying warm. Kinda weird to use stranger stuff every day, but... Not like we have a choice. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. What sadistic scene do you have in mind today? We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. My lighter. Taking pictures of alien species. Then report to base. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Daniel needs a doggo friend. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor.
Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hello, motel room soap. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but... We need the warmth. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. This room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Gotta love one hit wonders. This thing has saved our ass. It's time to get warm. Of course, he's the town fucking hero now. How can I feel bad for him? Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah, no internet. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. Dead for a week, but at least we got some news. Yeah, Daniel doesn't need to see this. No excuse not to binge read. Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. Hey, look! Our buddy Raccoon is back. I got my eyes on him. He stole Mushroom's ravioli yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Next time we'll call the forest cops. You whiskered thug. <coughs> this thing is strong as a rock. How you doing, Mushroom? You're the best puppy in the world. I'm just glad we found you. Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. <laughs> this room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and... Keep it closed. Published before you were even born, Sean. No way I'm touching that. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. <sighs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. Hmm. 
We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. <laughs> that marsh burger totally looks like mushroom. I wonder how far it can go. Kind of weird to use stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Daniel needs a doggo friend. a delicious selection of cans in the kitchen. What are you waiting for? There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps staying warm. Daniel's been sick for more than a week. And it keeps... Daniel needs to eat something after all that... psychic crap. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know, Danny. Mm. Tough choice. It's okay to think about him. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. Okay, got it. Nope. I can't do anything without looking up first. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Come on, girl. Let's get back in. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready.
and sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? Daniel, come on. I know. Hide my powers. But it's just you and me and puppy. I don't want you to get in the habit. Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. This thing is strong as a rock. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. What a great team. Time to play dad talk. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. Uh, Mother f Daniel? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> We're so lucky this thing is working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Trust me, Daniel, you need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. 
We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. This ship is mine. Come on, five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. Yes. Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. More pirates. Hi. Better than nothing. Here you go, cargo. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. Your turn, lubber. What? Come on. Sit, please. Sit. All right. Everyone on deck. I need the score now. Pretty please. Mm, okay, that will do. Mm, not bad. Come on, my turn. Can I get something better this time? Come on, I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. Still incomplete? Sounds what the like hell? a no score. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean, we beat Dad. Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Yes, King of the Seas. Mm, okay, that will do. And I win. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... it's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee! Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Thank you.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. <sighs> okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. <sighs> Come on, chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. Okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. Okay. Better stock before the big trip. We'll need water. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? What are they- Dude! What are you doing?
Daniel! So quiet. Hey, what are you up to? Come on, Daniel. Let's go. No. I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. Oh, fuck. Stop messing around, man. Daniel, we don't have time for this. Dude, they definitely went into the forest. Get your ass over there. not good. It's all right. I'm right here. Here. 
You should do it. Is that it? Well, unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy. Snowman, you look after our mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay. Inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? So hungry, my belly hurts. I remember that. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? <sighs> it's good to be inside. Finally. I just feel so awkward to be here. Really want to involve other people. Let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll 
figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, it... If you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? We had no choice. The cops would have blamed me for everything. I know it. Well, Sean, now the police do blame you. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, uh, at least you've managed to come here alive. <sighs> We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. Yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something.
how do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. That's cool Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. This, this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. I can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Daniel was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> Good. He deserves to be spoiled. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? I'm glad they get along so good. <laughs> Daniel's definitely... Okay! Choo-choo! So careful, Chief. They're going too fast. We have to! We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna scare the passengers away. <laughs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. I don't care. Faster. I saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Fuck, it's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite the change from our last home. The chief has to get this train to Seattle by noon. <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. <sighs> fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. <sighs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. <sighs> Daniel, <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a pop star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But 
the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, yeah, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. 
Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Stephen retired. Believe it or not. <sighs> That's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Stephen could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. Of course he was. I miss Dad and his silly. <sighs> Santa Gringo accent. We'll see. Jeez. I told him about leaving his toys around. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. Oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. It's... it's fine, really. We don't have to. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you okay. practice. Okay. Got it. You're so passionate. Dog? Yes. Old Polly left us three years ago. But she's still with us, day after day. Isn't she in heaven? With Mushroom? Of course she is. But she's in our thoughts as well. That's nice. Daniel, you would have looked the same back then. <laughs> I would I've never looked enough. Here, Time to draw now. Hey, Grandma. Where are the fish? Well, hmm. there's only one. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Gee, I could never Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Oh, Sean. It's such a trip. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. I mean it. Thanks. Do you want to be like an illustrator? <sighs> yeah. Maybe one day. If everything goes back to normal. Mm. You ought to be careful, Sean. It's not an easy career. Lots of competition. Few opportunities. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Sounds like that. He wasn't one to smooth things over. Trust me. I know the type. But he did raise you boys on his own. Can't argue with that. Yeah. He worked his ass off for us. Wish I realized that sooner. Don't worry, Sean. 
Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. Yeah, and I'm not always the best role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Such a big fireplace, and not even needed. That's luxury. Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods, feeling of love. Passion, princess? Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. Hmm. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, uh, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. 
And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? You don't know him. You never even tried to. So don't speak for him. Sorry. You're right, Sean. It was complicated with your mother, with Karen. I know. I... Sorry for yelling at you. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here, you guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. What's over here? It's, it's good to... found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't. Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Mm -hmm. How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? No, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. Steven sure takes his hobby. Claire <laughs> told me you guys have been married for, like, 40 years, so yeah, yeah. it kind of makes sense. Ah, that sure was a long time ago. Uh, well, God, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, but trust me, a break from all this can only do you good, you know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's over here, this will be all right. Uh, mm, uh, uh, <clears throat> Man, who did this? Oh, yeah. He was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad. Wow. Is that you? Oh, mm, yeah, that was taken when I retired. <laughs> the mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, 
No problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. Jeez. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. What's even the point of having so much crockery? I get that he's... As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Gotcha! Hmm. Yeah, pretty different from the one we had back at home. Daniel seems so happy to be here. Good. Oh. Where the hell is he hiding? Behind you! Yeah, very funny. No more hiding, seriously. Okay, okay, what do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry, cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right. Let's get it over with. All right, time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. I miss Dad, Lee. <laughs> Santa Gringo accent. All right, time to see the sun again. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Oh, man, 
man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. It reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh, oh! <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Sean, look! Did you see that? Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Daniel. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Okay? Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kitten never listens. Oh, 
Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Um, I could just delete my browser history after... Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. These articles are almost a month old. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. <sighs> wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. I should really call Lila to check on her. Holy shit. I should really call Lila to check on her. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the... Maybe risky. But I need to know what's going on with Lila. <sighs> Just a quick call can't hurt us. I need to know if Lila's okay. Yes? Lila? Hey. It's Sean. Holy shit. No way. How are you? Wow. You know, been better. I mean, you literally hung up on me. Sean, it's been weeks. How could you cut me off like that? Lila, I'm so sorry. We had to hide out for a while. Plus, I ditched my phone. Never heard of pay phones? I had to lie to the police for you, for fuck's sake. They grilled me for hours after your last call. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I don't want you to get into any more trouble because of me. I better go. No! Please. Don't. Do not hang up on me. Not this time, dude. Talk to me. Please. How are you? How's Daniel? We're all good, Lila. Better than we've been for ages. I swear. Okay. Now, where the hell are you? Somewhere safe. Don't worry. Let's say... We found some help. For now. Really? That's what I wanted to hear. Sean. I kept seeing all these 
awful things happen to you. I know. I'm sorry. Please tell me about you. About high school. Anything. Other than this fucking mess. Like, how's the gang? <laughs> well, the guys are fine. Adam's all about this new game. Fuck. I miss our land parties. They miss you, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Ellery's now the captain of the track team. <laughs> They're kicking ass. <laughs> Considering they lost their best runner. Sure. I'm a pro runner now. What about Lila the Love Witch? Seeing someone? <laughs> No way! I'm way too busy trying not to lose my shit over you and Daniel. I've been really worried, Sean. I'm on medication. I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, fuck. You're gonna be okay, Layla. So are we. But you have to be strong. Listen, I'll call you back as soon as I can. You promise? It might be a while, but I'll try when I can. Thank you for calling, Sean. You literally saved my day. It was so cool to hear your voice, Lila. I... I gotta go look for Daniel now, but... I'm glad I called you. Oh, man. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> you better take care of yourself. My baby boy. Give him a big hug for me. I will. You take care too, okay? Seriously. Love you, Lila. I really miss her. Stop thinking about that. Time to go get Daniel. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. Daniel loved it. Okay, let's get this brack back home now. <sighs> Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Dude, move your ass. Who knows what Daniel's doing over there? <sighs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Great. And you don't realize what that implies? 
everyone can see you from the outside. You could get in real trouble. This is dangerous. Do you understand? Yes. We hear you. We promise to be careful. This is just our secret, okay? Nobody can find out I'm the real Captain Spirit. And nobody will. Ever. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal! Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf! What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like... El Diez Blo Loco. Sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean, I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please, please, please. <sighs> okay, you win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh! Uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Interesting. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Okay, how did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit. The good guys. There's the forest warrior, power bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Sharp Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that.
Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well... I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. And I have Daniel. Ah, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. 
Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Don't worry. I'll be around. Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. What about this one? Too thin. You're right, we are strong. Hey. Hey, Sean. What's up? Just... Wanted to thank you for bringing us out here. Hey, no problem. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. <laughs> it's perfect. Don't worry. Good luck with that tree. <laughs> yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. Behold. The giant condom machine. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Let's look at another one. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, but we never surrendered. Let's look at another one. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Well, how can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Must have been seriously high. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Is that a yo yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. spruces left. Things seem kind of heavy between Charles and Chris. But they're pretty cool. Mm, not that many blue spruces left. Hmm. 
quiet morning. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. How come? Well, people certainly don't buy as much handmade Christmas decorations as they used to. The mall has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution, however frustrating that thought can be. Anyway, you've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? <laughs> it's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. <sighs> you have a nice day. Did I lock the shop yesterday? <sighs> Shit. Mm. Definitely not my budget. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a... Motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli you diet. You'll find better deals in Beaver Creek. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Hey, um, uh, can I get one of these bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We, handmade local we better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <sighs> now we are. Kinda. That sounds... Complicated. Trauma? Yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. 
We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on. They're pretty. Uh, 
Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! But anyway... Got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily... She died two years ago. Obviously... Uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah. They have their problems too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... 
I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> Locked door. Maybe... The key to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Dude, hurry. <sighs> Stay here in case they come Karen back. hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, he looks so different. So young. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still super cute, though. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? We clearly don't share politics, but I don't really see Steven listening to old-school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Sh Sean! I Damn. Saw Grandma... Too high for me. It looked like she left something there, but then she locked the door. Did you see where she put the key? I think. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. We have to get into that room, before they come back. Yep, it's empty. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Fuck. Can't find that stupid key. Just go for it. Yes. And don't blow apart the whole house. Haha. <laughs> really? Wow. Don't 
There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? They want to forget anything related to Karen. Stuff in my room. <laughs> I can what relate. Left? I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Clarence? Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. It's like she almost never used those. These pictures are so... random. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. Hi, Ulysses. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Man. That pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, so, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I hope she took good care of you. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you... I don't recognize any of these games. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Were you with her when she went on trips? <sighs> I miss my music. So much. This playlist is boring as hell. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But here, I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. I think it's not plugged. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? 
She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? We were just looking. For answers. And, uh... Were they really worth breaking my door open? Claire, please. Calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... what are you doing, Daniel? <sighs> oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma.
this house. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up there. Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He... he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the... spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here.
Whoa, it's super cute. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. 